to today's video. Today we're going to have Hannah show us how to make a easy five ingredient tortilla. So, what do we have to do to start out? We're going to first start off with five cups of flour. You're going to pour it into your mixing bowl. Like that. And you're going to add two teaspoons of baking powder. Decently. 
place it because you don't want them to fall apart. So if you make it, I don't know, what would you say that is? Eighth of think. an inch. Yeah, sure. An eighth of thin. an inch. Just kind of like um, tortilla thin. Yeah. Like if you think of a tortilla, a flour, even corn tortilla, even corn tortilla. they're um, not very thick. So you can just, you just kind of want to go off of that um, thickness, thinness. Um, and really, if you want your tortillas thicker, if you're like, yeah, I like my tortillas thicker, don't roll them out as much. And you could just make bigger balls. And then roll them out not as thin as you would for like a thinner tortilla. Yeah. More traditional tortilla. So really it's whatever your preference might be. Um, you'll definitely get less if, out of your batch of tortilla dough if you do them thicker or bigger. Um, but really whatever your preference is for that and maybe you want smaller for smaller and thinner for um i don't know maybe you're making tacos and you want them smaller and if you're making burritos you want them bigger maybe you want them thicker also you know using a rolling pin is best because or you're gonna like get the shirt better results out of using a rolling pin, but you can use a cup or whatever else you may want. Um, I mean, you could even do this with your hand. I mean, it's not as, you're probably gonna end up with thicker ones if you do it this way and not as, maybe not as uniformed. Yeah. But Most tortillas too, when you're making them at home are gonna tend to not be as rounded as you want them to be. At least that's what I've experienced because I haven't had the opportunity to use a roller pin. <laughs> and definitely rotating them can help you keep more of a uniform shape if that's what you desire. For sure. Spread it out. Hands. This is the way I'm doing it the hard way. <laughs> but hey, it's sometimes when this is all you've got, you use the tools you're given. There we go. That one looks a little better. Let's see. What do we like to put in our tortillas? You could make, really, you could make a dessert tortilla. It's true. I mean, these these aren't sweet, per se, but you could add, like, strawberries and chocolate or something. Make it more like a crepe, kind of. Yeah, a thick crepe. Uh, you could make enchiladas out of these. Tacos, fish tacos, burritos, oh, quesadillas. Ooh, quesadillas are good. Yeah. Sure. The, your, it's really an endless list, list of <laughs> deliciousness that you could make, um, for, see, if I, if you do it by hand, it's really not the best way to do it, because you end up with a thick dough. Yeah, it's not pizza dough. We're not making pizza dough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, it's not really, yeah, I can't spin it and have it come out like that. <laughs> yeah, this one's the special thick kind. So we have all of our tortillas rolled out and we're going to, we have our grill here and it's set to 350. We're going to put a couple on here at a time. You let the first side cook about 30 seconds. And then you're going to flip it over to the second side and you're going to cook it for another like 10 seconds. Um, do how you feel about maybe them being a little bit too doughy. If you think that's too doughy, you can do it a little longer and keep it moist. And if you only cook them for the 30 seconds on one side, 10 seconds on the other, uh, 
<laughs> you can cook it more later, right? Yeah. So, like, yeah. So oftentimes you're going to cook whatever the tortilla is before you use it um, for whatever you're making pretty much. Like if you're going to make enchiladas with it, you're going to put it in the oven and it's going to cook more in the oven. Um, and then if you're going to use it for like a quesadilla or something like that, you're going to put it in a fry pan and it's going to cook up more that way too. So and if you have so a this gas is like stove, cooking it yeah. so that like you could eat it just yep. like this. It's just, it would be, there'll be more cooked um once you cook it with whatever you're like Correct. tacos or yeah. burritos or enchiladas or whatever for sure and this recipe made about uh 16 tortillas um and about it's probably i don't know eight inches or so for, average size tortillas yeah average yeah. size tortillas um and it would, it could make more or less depending on how big then you want, you want them and how thin I'm rolling out. So you just do this with all of your tortillas. And then you are set to go. And how would you store them? Once um, you have I them? usually store them after they're cooled down. I store them in Ziploc bags and then I put them in the fridge. Um, I don't think you have to put them in the fridge, but I like mine put in the fridge because I don't like losing them out of my small amount of counter space that I have. And if you enjoyed this video, please push the like and subscribe button to get more ideas I like this. Yeah.